in the first part of the lecture on brevis lattice we have seen the discussion on brevis lattices in two dimensions and uh, you have seen that actually the brevis lattices in two dimensions are of five types and those were oblique lattice primitive rectangular lattice centered rectangular lattice a square lattice and hexagonal lattice now after discussing the brevis lattice in two dimensions in the second part of the lecture on same subject we are going to discuss the brevis lattice in three dimensions actually in three dimensional sp sp <coughs> space the point symmetry group requires 14 different lattices types among these 14 different lattice types one is in fact general lattice and 13 is a special type of lattice when you say general lattice that means uh, triclinic lattice okay triclinic lattice is called a general lattice and apart from triclinic lattice there are 13 special types of lattice actually on the basis of seven types of conventional unit cells 14 latin types are grouped into seven systems and uh, these seven systems of lattices are triclinic lattice <coughs> monoclinic lattice orthorhombic lattice tetragonal lattice cubic lattice trigonal lattice and hexagonal lattice these are the seven systems of lattices which are actually called brevis lattice in three dimensions now one by one we will know the important lattice characteristics of these seven <coughs> brevis lattices in fact uh, here in this lecture you will find the information not uh, any proof because these are experimental facts so i will suggest you go through the video note down these things in your notebook and remember this for your examination purpose if you have to write a good answer in your examination on brevis lattice in three dimension you should uh, memorize this and uh, when you will write all these things you will definitely obtain a good marks in your examination okay so now <coughs> let us see <coughs> one by one the different lattice characteristics first of all we are going to see the characteristics of this triclinic lattice which is called in fact general lattice as you know this is the most general lattice types and this lattice is characterized by the parameters a is not equal to b and this is not equal to c this is the most important lattice parameter and again that in three the three interfacial angles alpha beta and gamma are also not equal and they are not equal to 90 degree actually this system has a primitive unit cell as you can see the figure the lattice points have been shown only at the corners of the, the lattice and so you can say this is just a primitive unit cell it has no <coughs> uh, non primitive unit cell but triclinic lattice has only primitive lattice cell and so it is also called a simple brevis lattice okay so brevis lattice that is triclinic brevis lattice is simple or you can say primitive so we write the lattice symbol by p which represents actually primitive the most important example of this triclinic lattice is k2cr2o7 you have to remember all these facts okay <coughs> now the second a lattice is monoclinic 
द मोनोक्लिनिक सिस्टम इज डिफाइंड बाय दिज लैटिस पैरामीटर्स ऑल्सो इन दिस केस ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी एंड इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू सी एंड द इंटरफेसियल एंगल्स एल्फा एंड गामा आर इक्वल दे आर एक्चुअली इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री बट बीटा इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नाइन्टी डिग्री ओके एक्चुअली दिस लैटिस सिस्टम हैज टू लैटिस टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज प्रिमेटिव एज यू कैन सी इन दिस फर्स्ट फिगर दिस इज प्रिमेटिव मोनोक्लिनिक लैटिस एंड द सेकेंड वन इज कॉल्ड एक्चुअली द एंड सेंटर्ड और बेस सेंटर्ड सेल विथ लैटिस पॉइंट्स एट द सेंटर्स ऑफ द रेक्टेंगुलर सेल्स फेसेज इन द ए बी प्लेन एज यू कैन सी हियर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कॉर्नर्स आई हैव सोन दैट एट दिस सेंटर ऑफ द बेस एंड एट दिस सेंटर लैटिस पॉइंट लाइज सो दिस लैटिस इज कॉल्ड मोनोक्लिनिक सी वेयर सी इज द सिम्बॉल फॉर दिस बेस सेंटर्ड और एंड सेंटर्ड लैटिस ओके सो मोनोक्लिनिक लैटिस इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज प्रिमेटिव एंड अनदर इज एंड फेसेज और बेस सेंटर्ड ओके एंड दिस लैटिस पॉइंट लाइज इन द ए बी प्लेन एज यू कैन सी दिस एज एक्चुअली रिप्रजेंट्स ए एंड दिस रिप्रजेंट्स बी so uh, you can say that the lattice point lying at the face lies in ab plane okay one of the most important example of most monoclinic lattice is calcium sulfate which is also called uh, practically gypsum caso4 2h2 this is actually the a chemical formula for gypsum and this is a very important example of monoclinic lattice okay now we will see the important features of uh, the third uh, lattice and that is orthorhombic lattice as you can see the figure actually uh, this orthorhombic lattice is of four types first one is primitive you can see the second one is end centered or base centered orthorhombic which is symbolized by c the third one is body centered uh, which is symbolized by i and the fourth one is face centered which is symbolized by f okay in this case the uh, when you talk about the lattice parameters again these a b and c are different they are not equal but in this case all the three interfacial angles alpha beta and gamma are equal and that is equal to 90 degree as you can see in case of the primitive or simple orthorhombic lattice lattice points are only at the corners okay so it is called primitive or simple orthorhombic lattice but when you talk about the end or base centered orthorhombic lattice you can see again the lattice point apart from the corners also uh, is situated at the center of the two bases and that is in ab plane here and th at this point here okay and in case of body centered orthorhombic lattice you can see there is a lattice point in the at the center of this unit cell and in case of face centered orthorhombic uh, lattice uh, apart from the lattice point at the corners the lattice point is also lying at the centers of all the six faces i have marked it here you can see this is one of the lattice point at the center of a face this is another this is the third one this is the fourth one this is the fifth one and this is the sixth one okay so remember this 
and a most important example of this orthorhombic lattice is gallium ga you should remember it okay now the fourth is <coughs> tetragonal lattice this uh, crystal system is defined by the lattice parameter a equal to b but that those are not equal to c and again in this case all these three interfacial angles alpha beta and gamma are equal and that is equal to 90 degree this tetragonal uh, brevis lattice is of two types one is primitive which is also called simple tetragonal as you can see in the first figure since the lattice points are only at the corner so it is just a simple tetragonal or primitive tetragonal lattice and the second type is body centered tetragonal which is uh, symbolized by i as you can see in the second figure there is a lattice point at the center of this uh, unit cell okay now the example of uh, simple tetragonal lattice is beta sn and uh, of the body centered tetragonal lattice is tio2 these uh, are the two important examples and you should remember it okay <clears throat> now the fifth most important uh, class of brevis lattice is uh, cubic lattice okay cubic lattice actually this system is characterized by the lattice parameters a equal to b equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma and all these three angles are equal to 90 degree this is the most common uh, lattice type okay as you can see in this figure that actually this cubic uh, lattice is uh, <coughs> of three types first one is primitive second is body centered and the third one is face centered cubic which is uh, this is also abbreviated as sc lattice this is bcc and uh, this is called fcc fcc okay and as you can see in case of simple or primitive lattice uh, the lattice points are only at the corners of the unit cell but in case of body centered lattice there is a lattice point at the center of this uh, uh, cube and in this case <coughs> since a b c are equal so i have marked here a a and a and these interfacial angles alpha beta gamma all these three are 90 degree okay and in case of face centered cubic lattice you can see the lattice points are also lying at the centers of the all six faces okay now uh, what are the important examples of it and you should remember it the most important example of primitive lattice or simple cubic lattice are cu ag and fe these are the most important example of primitive or simple cubic lattice na and nacl these are the examples of bcc lattice and cscl is a most important example of fcc lattice okay now the sixth one is trigonal lattice or it is also called <coughs> it is also called ro rhombohedral lattice okay this is only one type this is only a primitive lattice or a simple trigonal lattice and it is symbolized by p which represents primitive or r for this uh, rhombohedral okay in this case the lattice parameters are like this all these three uh, magnitude of the translational lattice vectors a b c are equal and uh, alpha and beta are equal alpha beta and gamma all three these three are equal 
but they are less than 120 degree but not equal to 90 degree okay one uh, the most important examples of trigonal lattice are as sb and br okay so these are the important features of trigonal uh, lattice okay now the seventh that is the last uh, uh, Brevis lattice in three dimensional space is called hexagonal lattice. Actually, the hexagonal lattice class is characterized by these parameters A equal to B, but that is not equal to C. Okay, and alpha is equal to beta and that is equal to 90 degree, but gamma is equal to 120 degree. Okay. And the important examples of this uh, hexagonal lattice is Mg, Zn, Cd, and Ias. Actually, in fact, uh, in this crystal, the conventional unit cell is a right uh, prism, as you can see in this figure, based on a rhombus with angle 60 degree. Okay, this uh, the in figure you can see this is just a rhombus of angle 60 degree. This is the base of this right prism. So we simply say that the conventional unit cell in this case is a right prism based on a rhombus with angle 60 degree. And it has only one lattice type that is primitive lattice or simple lattice. So you can see I have shown in this figure the lattice points are located only at the corners of this unit cell. Okay. So uh, these are the important features of the seven types of uh, Brevis lattice in space. And uh, as I have told to you earlier, that uh, in this case, nothing is to know uh, after calculation. You have to remember these facts. Uh, I have only uh, provided you the important facts regarding this uh, uh, <coughs> Brevis lattice in three dimension and you have to remember it but uh, in examination most of uh, of you uh, ask me to provide PDF for the examination purpose written PDF but this is all in the uh, this is my lecture is already in the form of uh, PDF and so there is no need to provide you extra PDF you can note down these things in your notebook and write in your examination. That will be a good answer. Okay. Thank you very much.